Okay, today we're going to be replacing the rear tire on the Tourist. We have a Heidenall K28 that we have just about completely run the tread off of. We'll give you a few details about that. And we're going to be pulling the rear tire off to get it replaced on the Tourist. Well, I got my wife out here with me today. She is going to help me change the rear tire on the Tourist so she mm -hmm. can learn how. So when it's time to change it on the Patrol, she'll be able to do that. So the first thing that we need to do mm -hmm. is to put the center stand down, prop your foot against it, pull the bike backwards and lift it up on the center stand. Okay. So you, you need to be able to I'm do that. Uh, so it's, it's right on. down there. I see it. I just had to take a minute to, okay. to figure it out. And then okay. pull this. You set your foot against it and you it's pull. It's against it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. <sighs> this isn't going to work. Why can't we use the jack thing for the card that you have standing out here? Can we not use um, this? Well, I've never made a cradle for it to pick the bikes up. I mean, I myself, I would use the floor jack. The My floor jack? Myself. You can use the floor jack? Yeah. You didn't tell me you could we're, use the floor jack. Well, this is part of your lesson. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, part of my lesson. Yeah, see, we can use the floor jack. Yes. To kind of... Help me know, out here? Lift the bike up a little bit. You still want to put it on the center stand there, right? Yeah, we're going to put it on the center stand. Because it ain't there yet. I'll just raise it up. Okay. Then once the center stand's fully You got down, a little bit more. There, okay. It just locked. We good? Yeah, I think it just locked. Yeah, see? I felt it go ding. There it goes. All right. Well, that wasn't fair. Well, now you'll remember. Now, of course, when you're alongside the road, you're not going to have a floor jack. I was fixing to say, what do you do when you're out on the road? That's why you need to carry a scissor jack. I know what I'll do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I uh, need to put the bike up on. Well. Okay. So now we got to take the uh, the bolt there in the back off. The, the bolt that in the clamps back. the axle. This one? Uh, yep. Then we'll... Ooh. Now, I'm not going to the big toolbox to get tools to do this because I'm using the tools out of the tool roll on purpose. If I use the tools that I carry in the tool roll, then I know that I have all the tools that I need with me to change it on the side of the road if I had to. Yeah, I had to go put some gloves on. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. My hands were all slippery. Well, there's a cotter pin on the inside you had to pull out uh -huh. with the pliers. Okay. And then you'll unscrew the rear axle. <sighs> there it goes. You can generally just put the wrench on, it fits between those bolts, and then you can come around. The and one you just took the cotter pin out of? Yep, that castle nut. Okay. You're probably going to have to come around here other way. Other way? The, the rear axle is, is counter. Okay. It's the front axle that's backwards. So why would I need to put... All right, so I'll go this just way? Just to get the leverage. <coughs> and I may have to help you with that one. Yeah, this isn't going anywhere. Right. <clears throat> there. Okay. And the axle just unscrews. There, it's free. All right. And what about this bolt and the... Yeah, just... You're that just fell. Yep. Yeah. Oh, one of the... There it is. As you pull all this apart, make sure you remember what went where. 
so you can put it back together. Okay. Now the rear tire mm -hmm. pulls off the brake hub, and on this one it's not so bad. You just kind of turn it, wiggle it, and roll it right out the back. On yours, it's a lot more difficult because of the exhaust pipe, mm -hmm. and that's why, if you've ever wondered why your exhaust pipe it's a little is, bent. is, well, I turned it to give me oh, more yeah, clearance because yeah. I got tired of having to Wrestle move it. it to get the wheel on and off. Okay. But, um, yeah, it's loose. Just like Ooh. that. You gotta push this. And then it'll roll right out. Yeah, this is this has got cords showing. Sure does. So we have uh, exhausted this tire. We have run this K28 right on out. You getting it? Yep. Yeah, it's a pain. It gets hung up on the brake shoes. And there we go. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, there's there's no more life left in this K28, and I did that on purpose. I generally would have replaced this before now. But you got flat spots. Yeah, but uh, I really wanted to run this one out till I knew it was worn to see what kind of mileage we got out of it. So no surprise there. And now we have to break the bead, and I have a bead breaker for that. Okay. So what I do with the bead breaker mm -hmm. is set it on top so it's not touching the rim. Mm -hmm. Do the bottom, and not always, but it tends to break the bottom bead first. Spin it a little bit. How's that? Better? There it goes. Got the top one. Now we play the spoons and we're not going to reuse this inner tube. So I am in no way worried about that. I really don't understand people that do reuse inner tubes because it's just not necessary. It's put all this work into changing a tire. You go back with an old inner tube. I just soon get a new one in there that I knew was good and didn't accidentally get pinched anywhere. What I generally do, mm -hmm. or try to do, is get my Nomar tool in. And it's not an ideal situation, but. Hold those down. I'm holding these down. I like to lubricate the Nomar tool a little bit. Now the trick here is you had to let them up. You're almost going back down with it completely, but I find that the spoons help get that tool in. There we go. Okay. And Take the these out. can come out. Yep. Okay. Now this handle is aligned with the tip mm -hmm. and you want to turn it 90 degrees so that tip is in there. Okay. Now this is where my bench kind of fails the test. Uh, sometimes this is easy to do, sometimes not so much. We need to push that down. All of them? Yeah. What I need it to do is to fall down into the valley. Like I said, these, these K28s are a bit more of a challenge. Yeah, it ain't going back now. Okay, now take that out. Move this one out of the way. Mm. 
There. That's side one done. Now, generally go on and take the tube out. So that's been through. Yep. There. Now, like I said, you don't reuse tubes. It's just not worth it. There could be a weak spot, a pressed spot, a piece of gravel that's weakened it over time. Tubes are cheap. Being broke down side the road with flat tire costs way more than you'll ever save. Oh. Had to flip it over and make sure the rear bead is now broke said if the rear bead had broke first I would have flipped it over to have derimmed it from that side but the front broke first there we go, go. alright now we're doing good and get in here turn our lube in there try to anyway I'll play the spoons. Too many more of these. One tire off. Putting them on is a lot easier though. So what do you do with these? Just toss? Nope. I'll use no. one of them and then put another rim strip on top. Okay. Is loose. I don't hear any more dead ones, just those two. Thing and see how true it is. Well, we fought the tire and got it uh, back as close to round as you can get these things. Trued them up, ready to put the tube back in. We got the tire one side back on the rim. Here, why don't you do something women know how to do? Powder that up for me. Before I put the tube in, I just like to powder them real good so I know they're, they're slick, like I've got plastic gloves on and this grips right now, and you don't want to fight any more gripping than you have to. So I just powder it up and smooth powder over all of it, both sides. Both sides like this? Yep. Then just smooth it out. That's good. Okay. It's a little messy, but as long as it works. it's worked. Now we need the tire tamer again. It's right here. The valve stem. Now we gotta lay the tube in to the tire all the way. You wanna make sure this? you can. You wanna make sure it goes in. And this part should go down. So it should be laying in there like this all the way around because okay. we don't want to be close to it when we start using the tools to put this back on. And you got to make sure that top bead is clear. Now. And this is where I kind of cheat using that tool. Bead on so it can't come back off.
trick with this is not to get tempted to take bites that are too big. pretty much it. If you'll grease the rear spline on the bike, you just take, you need to clean your hands, okay. and you can use this toothbrush, and you just get grease all over that rear spline all the way around. Okay. Doesn't take much, but... On the outside? Yep. Well, the camera went off and I didn't know it, but anyway, we got the rear wheel back on and uh, got the axle in. If you want to tighten this up, you have to put the wrench on the bottom. Yep. And then this, I like to just kind of pull over. Yes, yeah. okay. Let's see. How much is your insurance? <laughs> yeah, how much life insurance have you got on? Nah, it wouldn't pay for the bike. Uh, well, I'd hope it would pay for the bike. Oh, okay, that's as far as we go. Yeah, it might even pay for a good party later. Yeah, a wouldn't party. You might can twist it. There you go. There we go. All right. And that's how you change a rear wheel on a motorcycle. What do you think? That, that is a lot of work. You don't have your mic on, so I don't know if they can hear you. Yeah. That's, That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And all that was was basically changing the tire. Um, 30,000 kilometer service is doing about 1,000 kilometers. So we'll do it. Your rig's going to need a new rear tire. Um, I've already had one. Probably. You went for a ride and wore it out. Already? Yeah, you've got about seven, probably six, seven thousand kilometers on it. We'll have to check and see. Mm -hmm. But yours still has tread, so I want to move it to the spare rack is the plan. Right. And you've already got a brand new K28 on your spare rack, so right. yours might be a swap. We may not have to dismount and mount. We'll have to look at the, the wheel should be good. And that'll be good for at least another six, seven thousand kilometers. And the front and the sides wearing real well. Right, they'll they'll go for a long time. Yep. So let's take this thing for a ride and see how it does. All 